Hello everyone, you are on Ram24.com and today we will be taking apart Honor 200 Pro. First of all, as usual, we need to remove the SIM card tray. For this, we use a special tool. Insert it into the hole and carefully eject the SIM card tray. Next, we need to heat the back cover surface to about 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. For this we use a heating pad, but you can also use a hair dryer. And after about 10 minutes we can start removing the back cover. For this we use a thin plastic film. This film can be the one from a stationary store or a protective film from a new display. We insert it into the gap between the back cover and the mid frame and carefully slide it along the edge, cutting through that adhesive base. As always, you need to be careful around the cameras so as not to accidentally damage the lenses. Also, you should be careful near the side buttons, since flex cables may be located in those areas. So we carefully work along the edge, cutting through the adhesive base. No need to rush, no need to use force and no need to push the film too deep under the cover since we don't know what exactly is located beneath it. Before attempting to open the back cover, we additionally go around the camera cover with a film. And now we can open the back cover. As we can see, there is nothing on the inside of the back cover. After that we need to cover the camera lenses. For this we use a special protective film. Carefully cover the lenses, please note that we stick the film not on the lenses themselves but on the rim around them. This helps protect the lenses from dust or debris. Next we move on to unscrewing the screws at the top. For this we use a 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver or a Phillips hash 3 o As we can see one screw has a warranty seal. This means the screw has not been unscrewed before and therefore the phone has never been opened. By the way, the screws are non-magnetic, they are hard to remove, they get stuck so we additionally use tweezers to carefully take them out. The screws may differ, so it is best to place them on a special surface in a certain order, just in case for assembly. So after removing the screws, we proceed to detach the core with a non-metal tool. Carefully pry and lift it, then flip the core over. We also need to remove one screw that got stuck. Next, using a non-metal tool, we disconnect two battery connectors. After this, we can carefully peel off the cover, which most likely has the wireless charging coil and NFC. Carefully peel off this piece so it doesn't get in the way, peel it gently, it comes off very easily. Set the cover aside. Next we move on to unscrewing the screws and the bottom. Again we use a 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver or a Phillips hash 3 o the screws are also non-magnetic and hard to remove, so we used tweezers again. By the way, one of the screws was covered with some kind of tape. After that, we need to detach the cover hiding the subboard and also the cover with a speaker and antenna board. As always, it is important to find the right spot where we need to pry, lift and remove these screws. As always, it is important to find the right spot where we need to pry, lift and remove these covers. 
it is not always obvious where exactly they can be lifted. And we remove the speaker cover. Then we detach the cover hiding the subboard. So we can see the cover is glued to the vibration motor. We peel it off and set it aside. We disconnect the interboard flex connector. We disconnect the coaxial cable connector. We free the cable itself. Then we free the second coaxial cable, which was connected to the small antenna board on the speaker cover. We disconnect the fingerprint sensor connector. Now we can remove the subboard, which is slightly recessed into the display frame. We also lift it and carefully remove it. Ok, we take note of what is located where. On the subboard we have the charging port, microphone and the SIM card connector on the reverse side. In the display frame the fingerprint sensor and vibration motor remains. And now traditional small microphone hole test. The microphone hole is located in the display frame and has an L shape. The microphone body is located on the subboard on the opposite side of the hole. Therefore, if we inserted something into the microphone hole, we won't be able to damage the microphone that way, but liquid could. After this, we move on to the motherboard. First, we unlock the rear camera connector bracket, disconnect the rear camera connectors, and then we can remove the camera assembly. Lift the camera assembly and set it aside. Next, we disconnect the front camera. Again, carefully pry, lift and remove it. It is also best to cover the camera lens with a film to prevent dust from getting on it. Set the front camera aside. Then we disconnect the connectors of two coaxial cables and free the cables from the clips holding them on the motherboard. After that, we disconnect the interboard flex connector and the display flex connector. Now we need to unscrew two screws securing the motherboard. These screws are magnetic, clearly different from the previous ones, so it is better to keep them separately. After unscrewing the screws, we can easily remove the motherboard. Carefully lift it, remove it and set it aside. As for the top microphone opening, the situation is exactly the same. It has an L shape and is located in the display frame. The microphone body is located on the motherboard on the opposite side of the hole. If we insert something into the hole, we also won't be able to damage the microphone that way. Next, we move on to removing the battery. Traditionally, for Honor we have brown pull tabs, which tear and don't come off easily. We need to lift the side tabs and pull on the tab in the middle. And now we remove the battery. Under the battery there is a transparent protective cover shielding the interconnect flex cables. And that concludes our duo assembly. Thank you for watching and see you in our next videos or on our Telegram channel or on our website. Ok guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website, take care of yourself and until next video.